11 Alive News at 5 begins with breaking news. And new information just coming in after an Atlanta police officer is shot multiple times on the job today. He was seriously injured but survived. The accused gunman now in custody. We have team coverage with Joe Hinky at the scene where this all happened. But let's go first to Joe Ripley with how the injured officer is doing this evening. Hey, good evening. At last check, that injured officer was listed in stable condition. Atlanta police telling us that that officer was seriously injured during today's shooting and had to be rushed here to Grady Hospital. No other officers, we are told, were injured during the shooting. APD would not give the name of the officer involved in this shooting, but told us he had served with the force for 11 years. We even saw Mayor Andre Dickens showing up here at Grady, paying the officer a visit, giving a thumbs up as well, telling us that officer officer would be okay. Investigators say the officer was in the area of Old Hapeville Road looking for people who had warrants out for their arrest. Police say when a fight broke out between a wanted suspect and the officer, that officer was shot multiple times. Deputy Chief Darren Cheerbaum says assaults on police officers have hit record levels nationwide with gun violence posing a unique challenge and threat to those in uniform. At this time, the officer is here at the hospital in stable condition. He is seriously injured. Uh, he is able to communicate with his co-workers. He's able to communicate with his family and members of the command staff that you see around me. Uh, he will have a long road of recovery before him. And coming up at 6, the message from Atlanta police to the perpetrator in this case, as well as others who try and assault police officers. For now, we want to continue our live team coverage. Send things over to Joe Hankey, who's over at the scene where all this went down. Joe, walk us through what led up to the gunfire. Well, Joe, over my shoulder, the yellow crime scene tape is still up. On the other side of that tape, you can see a fleet of Atlanta police vehicles and SWAT vehicles. Just behind those vehicles is an apartment complex. That's where an Atlanta police supervisor tells us a man described as a known and documented gang member ran after allegedly shooting the officer this afternoon. Now, those apartments, they're off of Cleveland Avenue, where I'm standing between I-75 and Old Hapeville Road. According to Atlanta police, the man was wanted for a robbery and aggravated assault last October. Officers believe the man would be in this area today a bit after one this afternoon. They spotted and ID'd the suspect. And as an officer tried arresting him, they got into a fight. APD tells us the suspect pulled a gun and shot the officer multiple times. The man then ran towards the apartments, but we were told he was arrested a short time later without any further incident. I talked with two women this afternoon. The first heard the gunfire, the second heard the shots and saw the gunman running away from officers. I just heard some shots. You know, like maybe 40, like it were coming from two guns, pow, 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 like that. So I just sat in my car. I was terrified. I was terrified, especially all the police are just flying through the apartments. And then I have a child in the car also. It's just a lot of crime, you know? And Atlanta police tonight so far have not identified publicly that man that they say is the gunman that they now have in custody. They also say this still remains a very active investigation and they have not said if any more arrests will be coming. We'll send it back to you in studio. All right, Joe Hinky reporting for us. Thank you. Our crews will be working throughout the night to learn more about the injured officer and the suspect that's in custody. You can look for new details as they become available inside our 11 Alive news app.